Hello there, my name is Josh. This summer, I had the opportunity to travel to Canada with a field geology course to study the Rocky Mountains. We took many roadside stops along the highway to study the outcrops, and one in particular caught my eye. The outcrop featured sandstone and shale layers 15 feet long, with sandstone beds 3 feet wide and shale beds 1 foot wide. The layers were tilted at a 55 degree angle dipping to the west. The thin shale beds were easier to erode than the sandstone and served as a zone of weakness for the outcrop. About halfway into the outcrop we found a bed of coal, interestingly famous because it burned very clean. During World War I even, German submarines would look for smoke over the horizon. But this coal aided the Allies as it took the advantage from Germany. Together this sequence forms the Kootenai Group. At the west end of the 30 meter outcrop, we found a bed of conglomerate with chert clasts known as the Cataman Conglomerate. The beds are deposited horizontally as sedimentary layers always do. Stratigraphic up is towards the west, placing the Cataman Conglomerate above our Kootenai Group. And with these pieces, we can start putting the story together. During the Cretaceous period in Alberta, Canada, there was an estuary-type environment which supported a large degree of plant life and occasionally experienced flooding to allow clay deposition. The area also experienced storms which would destroy the plant life in mass to form our coals. At this time, the Farallon Plate is subducting into the North American Plate. And as the intermontane superterrains are dragged into the plate, the event is known as the severe orogeny. It raises the oceanic chert bearing layers, forming mountains which are weathered and dropped onto our old estuary, and forming the base of the Blairmore group. As more terrains continue accreting into the North American plate, the beds are deformed as we see them today. Now let's go see it happen in live action. 140 million years ago in what is now Alberta, Canada, was a calm estuary where the dinosaurs roamed. Now in the environment, sediment still flows through the system and sand comes through and is deposited during these low periods. Periodically though, the environment is really good at soaking up the water, so during flash flood periods, the water will rise. The water will be calm enough, the energy will be low enough to begin depositing clay particles. Occasionally in the environment, giant storms will come by with massive winds knocking everything around. Trees will become uprooted and fall down into the sediment. <laughs> Estuaries experiencing periods of flood and calm, the Farallon Plate is subducting under the North American Plate, dragging the intermontane superterrains into the Laurentian continent. Canada! Formed western mountains are weathered and shed sediment onto our Kootenai formation. <laughs> Terrains continue their accretion, the beds become uplifted and deformed into their present day positions. 